hey what's up guys it's your boy half back with another video and today i'm gonna be teaching you how to make this amazing anime twitter header for your twitter and let's get started okay so to begin with we need a bunch of pngs and images that we're going to be using in this video and all these you can find them in the description and download it and use it in your own twitter headers so let's get started first off we create a new file and the canvas size is going to be 3000 pixels to 1000 pixels and this is the standard size which all twitter headers are made up of so we create an empty canvas and then import our main subject that is Makima and we will be building things around her. So since this is a PNG, I don't need to crop anything out and we're just gonna keep her in the center and she's gonna be the center of attention for this. Okay, next up what we're gonna do is bringing another image and this time we're gonna have to crop a few things out. Since we only need the fingers in this image, what we're gonna do is basically take the selection tool and go over only the fingers and the background is black so you don't have to be worrying about the other things getting selected too so it's gonna be a quick job and once you've selected these fingers what you do next is basically control c and control v so it makes a copy of the things selected now that we have this we're gonna go do the same thing to the other fingers as well Control C, Control V it, and now you have a selection of these fingers. Now what we're gonna do is uh, take these layers and import it back to our main uh, image, and now we're gonna resize it accordingly. And now that we don't have the full finger and things are getting cropped out, you just need to put in your own ideas and think of way, a way to cover it. So in this case, since Makima has these chains of her, which she uses generally, uh, as you can see in this image, to latch on to people, what we're going to do is import a chain which I got off the internet and a picture of a chain which I got off the internet and what we're gonna do is try to make sure that chain covers the parts of the fingers which are not actually completely made and i feel this is really amazing uh it looks really good it doesn't look like it does not belong here it looks like it is and it's actually a part of the image so since this chain is completely metallic and it doesn't suit the anime vibe of the image what we're gonna do is click on the chain go to the circle here and then what you do is polar portraitize it so it's basically posterizing it not portraitizing it it's posterizing it and what we're gonna do is create a clipping mask so that it actually looks like something which is hand drawn and you can control the level of it level to which it looks hand drawn so i'm just gonna keep it at three yeah i think three is completely fine it looks hand drawn and now what i'm gonna do is merge these two layers because we don't have to tweak it any further so i'm just gonna merge the layers and it look like this now we make copies of the chain So next thing what we need is basically a background. So for the background, I thought we can use two comic strips and uh, just make a background out of those two comic strips and give it a dual tone. So you can see what I'm talking about soon, okay? So make sure any uh, no background is seen like the base canvas. So now that uh, we are using two comic strips, what we do is give one a gradient map. Okay, so we are first gonna create a clipping mask so it affects only one of our comic strips. 
and now uh, i'm going to be using a base color of uh, pinkish red white and uh, yellow okay so that's my base colors so that's what i'm working with right now so and in the middle i'm going to add a little bit of red to it yeah looks perfect so these are the base colors you can choose whatever base color you want uh, make sure you actually are good with whatever colors you choose you don't have to copy exactly what i'm doing so now that we are we have given it a base color what i'm going to do is merge these layers we have no use for it now and now we're going to put a gradient map for this layer here you can leave it black and white but i'm just going to go with this vibe here and uh, select the layers first merge layers so now one side has uh, the red and yellow part of it and one side has the black and white part of it it gives a good two tone and now what i'm going to do is basically merge these two layers first of all and go to filter add noise to it and this noise would completely change how the image would look and you can play around with how much noise you're adding as well so i think this much would work fine looks perfect okay so here it is now that is going to be the base background which we're going to work on with okay now now that is the background we are actually going to go keep it in the background okay so this is going to be the base look of it so now time to spice in things up okay spice in things up and make it look more attractive first of all so how do we do that first we're going to give the uh, the fingers which are coming out of the banner a drop shadow not too much like this we're going to completely reduce the size spread and the distance okay yeah okay so this is fine for fingers same thing repeated on the right hand side drop shadow done okay now the fingers look a bit of 3d but where are they coming off of so what we're going to do is create a new layer and take the brush tool and white is already selected adjust your brush to the size you actually want and we're going to uh, make some you know holes in the poster okay wait so the layer should be under under the fingers because it would draw over the fingers so yeah now it looks much better so now since the layer is under the fingers what we're going to do is make sure it's punching a hole in the banner okay that's the vibe we're going for so repeat this for all the 10 fingers I think I'm good with this effect now okay so now that we have uh, cleared that out so we're gonna now duplicate Makima four three times so once we are done that we're gonna add all the uh, below layers with a color glow and we're gonna keep different colors each time okay so this color overlay back to one of them and finally a white color overlay white color okay so so this uh we're gonna transform it and make sure the red comes on the right side and the white is on the left hand side why we're doing this is because so this part of the image is completely red and this part is completely white so once you offset makima to the right side it should be the opposite color so it doesn't blend in with the background now finally the black is going to be the shadow of it so what we're going to do is move it over and put it such a way that it creates a small shadow 
and this makes the image 10 times better makes the subject stand out as well so now what we're going to do next is makima's eyes is one of her prominent features and we're going to make it a little more prominent by adding another layer and this time we're going to select yellow as our main color the brush make our brush smaller if you click alt and then the right click your brush can be adjusted its size can be adjusted so now what we're gonna do is make concentric circles around her eyes okay now that we have added this what we're gonna do next is add outer glow to this and reduce the spread and you know, the size we're gonna increase and we're gonna change it to red okay so this gives that you know glow to her eyes and feels like she's controlling you but not exactly so now that's the vibe here and next what we're gonna do is give a drop shadow a white drop shadow to the chains okay Since we are done with the main part of the header, now we are going to focus on the text aspect. Okay, now I want to wrap my text around the main character here. So what I'm going to do is select the main subject. And next, what I'm going to do is make the selection here. Select subject by using the selection tool. And if the su subject isn't properly selected, I make sure it is. Yeah, now the subject is properly selected nothing is left out what i'm gonna do next is click on this box tool go to select and go to modify first smoothen the edges out go to select again modify this time expand keep it to about 40 to 50 pixels so you get a better coverage now that the uh, selection has expanded what we're gonna do is once you've clicked on this box tool, click, make sure to right click on the one of the edges, okay? So once you right click that, it shows make work path, click on it, tolerance one, and now you have the selection, right? Now click on the text tool and click on where you want the text to start. And that's it. So the text automatically up, appears. And what I am gonna do is make the test, text into Makima. Okay, now that we have our text, we can't really see what's happening on the left hand side, but the right hand side is fine. So what we're going to do is make this text layer and add a stroke to it, a really, really small stroke, not too much, uh, about three, I guess is working fine. And now that this side is actually seen, what we're going to do is change the color of the left hand side. Even give it a drop shadow just to make it stand out a little more this time black and we're gonna adjust perfect and now it looks absolutely wonderful uh, being surrounded by the subject being surrounded by the text that's perfect right okay moving on uh, what I'm gonna do now is add text on these empty spaces you can add other stuff also but i feel like uh, for me the header would look better with the text and i would do that okay so it's easier take whatever font you want and then just add the text to it And this is how you make such a banner. It looks absolutely really attractive and uh, hope you found the video interesting and uh, really helpful. So I would love to see your co uh, creations as well. So do comment down below if you, are, if you want more such uh, banners and I would love to make them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.